We're all looking at the same thing. Thank you for joining us for another perspective from the Sag Nasty If Anybody Asked Me podcast. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. We live in the same apartment complex and we watch we got my ass booked. We come back when I get to the apartment complex. We got the box next, bro. Like, you watch me get stomped out. Do, do not like it. But that's the same thing. I, I don't know where that came from, but I agree with you completely. Yes. Yeah. And that, that was the beauty of it. You know, and yep. it's like, and that's where I think the bonds were actually able to be created a little bit better Way by better. having that, you know, because we yeah. actually got to spend that time at school. School. Yeah, everybody kind of split off with their friends and did certain things, but at some point in time, that in entire group was intermingling, yeah. yep, interacting mm -hmm. with each other at home in mm -hmm. that environment where everybody's guards a little more down. You yep. can be a little more, you actually talk to people. You you understand yep. what's going on life and kind of what's happening and like, uh -oh. we can't live in the same apartment complex and you watch me got my ass whooped <laughs> we come back home when i get to the apartment complex we got the box next bro like you watch me get stomped out and do not know like, it's but that's the same thing if i, I don't somebody, know where that came from but i agree with you completely I know, yes you know, because yes. i know it's like man like i might not talk to you too much but i know you live in my apartment complex i ain't gonna let them dog you out you know what i mean yes. it's like and that's where for me like it's it's everybody calls it hoods all this other stuff we just found a to me I, I look at it as like those groups and those friend dynamics was a safer way of not having a game yes because it allowed you some of those same protections and some of that same camaraderie and stuff of a game but just we didn't do the violent stuff we were not no. causing trouble you know what i mean it no. was more for like hey man let's, let's protect each other hey man we all play sports hey man let's make sure we excel in sports hey let's go to the park and hope Hey man, let's go over here and play some soccer. Let's go play baseball. You know what I mean? It's like that to me was like that's a lot better dynamic than oh, it's great. The alternatives that we had around in the area, you know, it's great, right? Like I told Stu, I don't think he's gonna make it if he he lives in uh, I forgot the name of that neighborhood, but it's like right in his backyard, the one that's like surrounding uh, Westdale. Like just oh, one little skip stone skip away, and your life is completely different. You know, even though he wasn't oh, yeah. like all the way by us, but like. He wouldn't, his parents wouldn't allow him to come over there. Oh, no, without right. a doubt, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, and, that, and that's what I said. Like, that's where some of the stuff that people got to look at. We understood that too. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because like, it, we were some of the first black kids in the township, period. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, we came over there like the early 80s, bro. Like yep. early, mid, mid to like late 80s, we were over there. We went to Sherwood. All, yep. You know what I mean? It's like myself it was our family myself and my sister the alvarez's john murray and them, yeah. you know what i mean it's like the, the mcbrides it was and then more people start coming you see what i'm saying it's like so we kind of looked at it as like man like we can't be around here acting ass first mm -hmm. off you know what i mean like just because it's like it's we kind of set the precedence for everybody else that's going end up living over wow. here interacting wow. over here doing everything else you know what i mean so it's like right. that's why like we got, you know, young you, dude, you remember, we got harassed riding around in groups of little four or five of us, little black dudes. You guys got it worse yeah. than us. Yeah. My God, you know, because yeah, you got like really said, bad. We, yeah. we, we used to tease about it. We were the boys from the hood, you know what I mean? Like yep. straight facts. So me, John, Jason, yeah. them, all Pete, Pete, Crystal Drake, and them, we all came from the same block over there off of the lamps in the, off of East Genesee. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm. shit, we lived, I lived over at Bloomfield for a little bit before we mm. came over there. You see what I'm saying? So imagine mm. like, we still kind of had like hood tendencies, ride the yeah. bikes around, go go play with other kids. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, right. we instantly got educated. It was like, man, why the cops follow us? Damn, <laughs> like this is weird. You know what I mean? It's like, but we understood like, oh, you know what, man? Like, hey, I get it. It's not that many of us over here. I, they probably going to be a little freaked out. Mm -hmm. So we start doing things. I wouldn't say changing the way we were, but we just start kind of showing them like, hey, man, like we just some young kids trying to play and like, do things everybody else doing. That's it. You know what I mean? It's like, and then as the time went on, that's why you see, like I said, y'all, your friend group is almost like the, if we were to think about it, like back in the eighties, when we first got over to that area, mm -hmm. seeing you, Stu and, and Steve and all of them, it was like, that was their dream. If it, if it makes sense, you see what I'm saying? Because over time, yeah, we start hanging out with all those kids. Like I love them all to death. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but you look at it now, it's like, that was kind of like, it, it was passed down. Hey, man, take care wow. of that. Wow. You got white, you got black, you got Mexican, you got this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
and everybody could be different, but it was once we we all lived together. Like you said, we yeah. all in the same little areas, not even a few blocks away from each other. Doesn't wow. matter if we live in apartments, you live in a house. What, yeah. What's the difference? You see what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's where, like I said, I kind of learned a lot of that to like appreciate some of like the dynamics of our community and our prayer groups, you know, and stuff like that. Because like you said, it was very common related because once you start meeting some of them different families, man, they was just like us. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like they us. was exactly the same, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And that's where, like I said, the beauty of it was, it's like, every, it was a lot of brothers and sister combinations in our, just in our general community. I yeah. love that fact. You know what I mean? The, yes. the older, the brother, the younger, this and that. And yeah. we all interacted with each other through different levels. And then, like mm-hmm. you said, some of the older ones with the younger ones and the older, you know, so it's like, yep. when you start looking at that, I tell people about that too. They go, what? You you, you still talk to kids from your school? I'm like, hell yes, a bunch yeah. of them, like thousands yeah. of them. Like, what are you talking about? You know what <laughs> I mean? I'm, I'm stunned. I'm like appalled. I'm looking at them like, what, you don't talk to nobody you went to high school from? they like, no, I'm like, man, I wish I talked to them more, honestly. Yeah. I think, but it's, it, nobody did things like we did, man. Like, they, they don't have those groups where, yeah, we got your close group of friends, but the bigger groups still talk to each other. If they see each other, you'll see it. You know, like I said, you look on social media, it's it's cool as hell sometimes seeing some of the people posting pictures yeah. who they're hanging out with. Because you're like, yeah, oh, man, right. you see like four or five faces on there. Like, yeah, oh, right, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, yeah. that's, that's, like you said, that's it's cool because we were a part of that dynamic, you know, and it's like, that to me is like what carried us all over the different parts in the world. Like I said, you living in Korea, been there for some years. Mm-hmm. This dude's done great things. Dino, I mean, Kelly, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Steve, same thing. Everybody, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. and that's what I love about it is because it's like, man, like that's the true beauty of like, like you said, that that day on the bus. <laughs> us, they kind of looking out for the young dudes. The, oh, yeah. dudes looking out for us. It's like, and then you see us decades later, and it's kind of like, hey man, like that was that was all worth it. That was the whole. First point of all, of we're it. alive. That's it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm sorry, man. Like, you know, I lost a lot of folks, but that's like yes. that's one of the good blessings. It's like, hey man, like these dudes, look at where we made it from. That's my biggest thing. You know what I mean? It's like I, I loved it. You know what I mean? Because it's like. <laughs> I remember coming out here with Stu when I first moved out to California. I go up mm-hmm. there to see Stu. Yep. I think most other people probably would have been enamored. The fact that, like, a, a friend of theirs is like, oh, yeah, in the NFL. Oh, my God. That was cool to me. Like, I, I was more hyped when I seen the draft day. I'm talking shit. I'm overseas, I think, at the fact that 2004, I think I was. I'm talking mad shit. My boy got drafted, motherfuckers. You know what I mean? It's like, but at the same time, it the fact that he even still had his, his old car in the driveway, that was, that's man, that's you know what I mean? Man. That's, still like, man. that's us. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> it was just like, okay. And then I walk in there, there's Steve, there's, uh, it was Chris. You see what I'm saying? Jeremy. Jeremy. You, you see Jeremy, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It was, was kind of like, okay, man, like, this is cool. Because here we were a few years removed from graduating high school, college. I think y'all was just finished up college and stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, I had already kind of been overseas, come back, and I'm like standing there going, man, this is crazy. These are the little homies, man, and look at yeah. them. They're they, they all doing good. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, it, it was, like I said, it was beautiful, man. Like, that to me, it was like the, it was kind of like the, okay, man, like, we got this, you know?